there. The most amazing feeling. I, I thought it would be this special when I, uh, when I first got the job. But to see the energy of the players. I kind of knew that when I came to America that we'd have the energy. Um, now it's almost that I need to refine the energy and channel it in the right direction. But I couldn't ask for a better a better work ethic from the group today. So you can just see that they're buzzing. So it was, a, it was one of the moments that make me smile. So I'm, I think I'll, I'll digest that this afternoon as well. Well, if I don't bring it, then there's no excuse or no reason for them to. So um, I think it goes, I go to an individual place in my head where it's just expectation. So I've kind of set my bar this high in my own personal mentality that it's pretty easy to get to that place for me. Um, the only thing that is struggling now is my voice. So I've got to get used to the dry weather. So, um, but no, if I don't bring it, what, what excuse have they got? So I'm all energy on the field and I want to give them the brains to match that energy. Not yet, so uh, they've not all been back in town. So over the next couple of weeks, they'll have an individual. I've met badly five or six, mm -hmm. but it's really good already that I'm connecting with them on the field. So just little praise points, little things they can do better. Constant reinforcement of the message is, is what I do anyway. So. Um, I'll have a, over the next two weeks a period to sit down with every single person so by the time we get well into pre-season I'll, I'll know everybody. Um, it's about, so the first, one of the, the key things is not to show disappointment if something doesn't go your way. You're going to have many moments in games that you can, you can either use as an excuse or you can use as a focus point and for me it's not showing disappointment. We're going to have bad touches, we're going to have bad movements, we're going to have bad positioning. We've got to make sure that we stay focused in the moment. So. For me, it's, it's about setting foundations over the next two to three weeks and then we can really kick on from there. What, what we worked today was connections, connect to each other, love playing with each other, love being around each other and I think that once they saw that, they just made automatic decisions and I think we neglect that as humans that we can make them choose what they do rather than us having to tell them what to do and that's what we've tried to work on today. Just um, sort yeah. of luck. <laughs> um, I'm a bit melty now, that hence the reason I've got a cap on. But no, um, I think uh, I think we will have roadblocks. But again, like I've just said, is that an excuse or is it something I can just work with? So after now, we'll go back, we'll digest the session, we'll make sure that we focus on the things that we need to improve. Like for today, everything's 100 mile an hour, which I'd expect the energy levels are there. My job is to control that and make sure they can control that. So in the moment, they select the right pass rather than just force the pass. So. Um, We've got work to do, but I always, so if you notice in the middle of the session, it wasn't just a drinks break, it was a mental break. Have a mental break, think about what you're doing and work through what you're doing rather than just playing. So um, we're gonna create habits, that's our job over pre-season, create good habits. Uh, do you know what, again, is that, a, is that an excuse? Is that a reason? For me, I'm, I'm gonna work with the players that are here, regardless. I, I, I don't, at Birmingham we did the same, we had kids. My goalkeeper was 17 when she first came into the first team. She'll go on to be an England international, I'm sure. It's just working with the people and suddenly getting the best out of them. Who knows? I said, I said when I first came in, the name of today might not be the name of tomorrow. So who is the name of tomorrow? Well, it could be that person that puts everything in on that training field, and that's my job. Work with them. Whoever's here gets work with. If somebody's taken out for injury, I'm ready to replace them with somebody that has ready to work. And so no excuses. It's not just for one player here. I mean, for everyone. Um, not really, not necessarily. I think we need to strengthen at some point, but again, those are the plans that we are working through at the minute. We're not just sitting on our, we're not resting on our laurels, we are working towards. But the one thing I won't do is I won't make harsh decisions and rash decisions because a World Cup's coming up. We'll work with the people we have and I'll bring in the right people that will work with the philosophy that we have to make sure we put it onto the field and make it right. I'm not just going to fill spaces. There will be. Um, one of the things that I'm is good at is the European market. People are still in in contract over there at the minute, so it's hard. Their seasons are still going on. So if I have to wait for the right people, I'll wait for the right people. Equally, we're going to, we're identifying talent within this country that we want to make sure that we can bring in. So we're, it's it's an ongoing process, and we're going to continue to work that. We will 100% uh, assure you that we'll let you know as soon as we we are identifying that person and we're ready to go. Do you know what? I, I, it, was, it came as a shock that I was actually going to do it so soon. Um, but what we did, it was, I, I, I put out on Twitter that it was a life memory, and please don't say that's a cheesy, genuinely will stay with me for the rest of my life. Because um, in England, we have this connection to fans where you say hi after a game and so on, but tailgating and so on, all that experience, I think we were with Jenny and so on, we experienced it all. It was, it was fantastic, and I can't thank the club enough for giving me that opportunity to do it. Um, and I'd, I'd gladly do it again. Well, Carl was my 
sports scientist at Birmingham, um, but also my assistant. So even though he was down as my sports scientist, he helped me build the physical platform for the football that we play or the soccer that we play. So Carl will be a, a key ingredient. And not only that, he's, he's a sunshine yellow person. So he matches the American attitude. They, everybody's so bright, everyone's so breezy. So he matches that. Whereas I'm a little bit more reserved um, at times. And so he will bring not only his knowledge, his background, his different skill set. Because we develop our own practices based on what our physical traits are and what we need going forward. So we don't just put a practice on, we focus, we design them together. And that's why he's so key to me. And he'd be a great addition to any club at the moment. So Orlando are very, very lucky to have him. And well, what we're gonna to try to introduce this year um, is a leadership team where we have a variance of people that we'll have. We'll have a captain and we'll have somebody that we name on the field as a captain. But the one thing you can't win with just a captain, you have to win with everybody. So we will have a variance of people that will um, be from each background, so whether it be the younger players, they'll represent, we'll have a representative and we'll meet each week to make sure we discuss any problems that each people might or that each player might have or each player group might have and then come to the solution so we can support each other. So it's very much a shared leadership but look, this is definitely, definitely a player led environment but it's not a player controlled environment. That's really key because players can't control their environment because we're here to overarch that and help them guide them to what they want for success. Um, but it's definitely player-led. Their voice is so, so important, and that will continue. Can I just say that, uh, although her age re uh, might suggest she's a, a, a veteran, her body, the way she runs, she's 25, mate, I'm telling you. She is unbelievable. So, as somebody in the room, that, that the girls just saw on the field, the power, the energy, supporting the younger girls, she is a magnificent person. I knew that when I came into the club, but. Mate, don't talk about her age. She is not a veteran at all. She is definitely, definitely young enough to play forever. Well, I think it's great. I think there's um, in England we used to quite a, a longer season. So um, if you look at um, the Australians, well, you know um, they've had a great experience. They've come back. So we've had a, obviously had Rachel who's been in the final and Alana who's won it. So they're coming back with winning in their blood, in their veins, in their psyche. So that hopefully will inject into what we want to do in Australia. We've got a fantastic team as well. So. I think that experience broadens everybody's uh, horizons and, and they'll bring that experience back into the team. I'm for sure, even speaking to the players and their experience over there, they've loved it, but now they're ready to get back home.